15 rounds scheduled here in this much anticipated fight. And we are underway with round number one. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has steadied himself back up on his feet. Oh, a good right hand by Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Yeah! Parries that punch intended for the head. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Tyson's got complete momentum and control of this fight right now. Already scored a knockdown in this round. And now he's on the attack again. Johnson's tagged. Momentum has shifted. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. Oh, Egypt. Solid. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Well, not all knockdowns are created equal. I think the knockout victim here is actually pretty fine. Yeah, that was a flash knockdown. You know, he went down. He got up right away. Now what he has to make sure it doesn't go past that flash point. Johnson's rumbled by that hook to the body. So we're underway here, round number one. Such a distinct advantage as to who the faster guy is, Teddy, who's got the speed. How does the opponent have to deal with that? Well, it's not just the hand speed, it's the foot speed. And as far as that goes, I think the opponent needs to cut the ring down a little bit. You know, be like a linebacker in football. Don't follow him around, but just move parallel, shrink that ring. Johnson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Johnson's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Johnson's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Such an obvious target if you're his opponent here. I mean, how can you not go after that bad cut near the eye? Well, that's a good question, Joe. I don't like a fighter to really go after that. It's going to take care of itself. You know, you throw punches, it's going to hit that area, and the bleeding's going to continue. But I don't want my fighter to start now pinpointing and aiming only for that. It takes him out of his game sometimes. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to land the hook to the head. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Landing two jabs by Mike Tyson. Johnson's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. And he just holds on there. How about that exchange? That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Looks to the head. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Johnson's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, so but his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude. 
as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Goes up top with a right hand. Solid uppercut. Keep moving, keep moving. It's all right, just keep moving. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Tyson's right hand scores well. Johnson's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Unable body to score shot, with the hook. Shot. Tyson's cheek is cut. And you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Takes a step back. Then the counter punch by Mike Tyson. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Tyson's acting like a desperate man right now. He was stunned <laughs> earlier. Now it's bombs away. Yeah, he's hoping to catch him. And when you're hoping to catch him, usually hope goes out the window. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this third round. And a big right hand comes crashing home from Tyson. You throw more punches out there. You got me? He's out working. We got it. You're stronger than him. Let's let him feel those punches. You got to bring it to him, kid. We're not winning this fight right now. We start round number four. Johnson's up two rounds to one, according to your card, Teddy. But if you're a backer of this, you can't feel all that comfortable knowing he's already been down in this fight. And more important than the backers is him, the fighter. He can't feel too comfortable. He has to stay right on his P's and Q's. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Very accurate two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have very punches throughout. Johnson's banged by a left hand. Oh, good exchange there. Head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. A well placed left hand up top. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. All of a sudden, the tables turn. Tyson, big, big shot comes crashing home. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. over. Johnson's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. When you get 
a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Keep moving. Johnson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Mike Tyson. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole. It was close. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Johnson's full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Good strong jab by Johnson. Wow, what an uppercut. A solid left hand by Mike Tyson. Iron Mike with an iron right. Johnson's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Wow, a big flush blow. The left hand by Mike Tyson. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Teddy, I'm sure so many times you've been approached on the street by guys who say, yeah, I can fight. I fought a little bit. What's the biggest difference you've found through the years with the guys that think they're tough and the guys that are really in the gym? Well, when they're out in the street, somebody's going to usually stop it or you're going to pick up something, you're going to hit them. You don't have that, of course, in the ring. And also, maybe the most important thing, Joe, is you're not mad. You know, getting mad is like somebody getting a drink in them to open up and all of a sudden start talking. You get mad and you go after what you're mad at. You're in that ring. You don't have that. You don't have that scotch so to speak, that you can shoot down and get those muscles going. Johnson's tagged by a huge hook to the body. That's exactly what he wanted to do, backing him up against the ropes. Johnson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Zones in on that overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Mike Tyson's right hand scores well that time. Keep your hands, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You have to double jab, all right? He's timing. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. Double jab, all right? And round number three is underway. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. There's the old one-two coming after him. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Keep moving, keep moving. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Good looking uppercut that time.
Mike Tyson's left, landing well. Watch that! Good block. And he engages in the clinch. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Johnson's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants the lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. A well placed overhand right. A sound combination by Mike Tyson. Come on! Comes across with a hook up top. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Nice work, nice work. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, right? I need you to move. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. Thanks, guys. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time, Clay, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans who used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the lock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking Keep their blood vessels. Moving. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. punch from Iron Mike so he decides to go downstairs early on and I think he'll be happy with that decision uh, things opened up and he was able to place the right hand well Tyson's just being swarmed he just got stunned he got absolutely nailed little head hunting with the left Mike Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And now he's targeting upstairs. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Mike Tyson's crushed by a right hand. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Not able to land the headshot. Tyson scoring with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That was not well targeted by Mike Tyson. Halfway into round number five here. 
And he ties up on the inside. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Mike Tyson's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Sound defense. Good block that time by Johnson. Good flush shot upstairs. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Gets rid of that body shot. Nice solid left hand scored by Mike Tyson. Looking good, looking good. He's tired, look at him. He's so fucking tired. It. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. All right. He needs to double up the punches and keep the lead, right? You don't need that, I'll throw that away. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best. And both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss. Make him pay. Tyson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Unload! Keep moving! Keep moving! Good exchange. He fires back. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Now he ties up there. Keep nice work, Tyson with the hook. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Mike Tyson. An accurate left by Johnson. Oh, my targeting each other. The exchange was something special. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And round six comes to an end. And Johnson's cup man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, you're going to rob a bank. You need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Johnson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Tyson's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take advantage. Keep him. Keep him. One, two, one, two. A big uppercut. What a big shot. Just a thumping body shot puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. Johnson's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. 
and I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is, you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Clinch him! Tyson's out of gas a bit. He's tying up his opponent. Yeah, well, you have to do that sometimes. Give him credit that he understands that he has to do that, and he's getting a little cooperation from his opponent. Those wobbly legs of Mike Tyson have steadied. But now the question is whether or not his opponent has found something that will work, found something that will get those legs unsteady once again. And now he scores well with a straight right. And round seven comes to an end. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here. And you can see that, yes, he's tough. But if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen here. So his opponent is a real tough guy. He doesn't get discouraged. Continues to come with a fast pace. And a guy like that, you never, never count out. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. Joe, he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. Mike Tyson's showing us some improvement here offensively. I mean, you can see that he really worked hard in training camp of bringing a varied offense to this fight. You know, that's a good point, Joe. You know what's working for him really is that his opponent thought that he was going to see the same thing that he had seen in the past. Now this change here is catching his opponent by surprise. Hands up, hands up. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. the victim of a powerful hook. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Tyson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Did you see that? Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Keep going. moving, keep moving. Nice block by Johnson. Johnson's able to land a good, solid left hand. Johnson's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. One, two. Halfway through the ninth round. There's an excellent combination by Johnson. Scored well up top. He returns the favor with an uppercut. 
Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice hook by Johnson. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Now he's targeting upstairs. Come on, kid. Focus. Final chance. Last ten seconds of round nine. All right. Breathe. Deep breath. Two more. You good? All right. under the bright lights throughout the night and now the next round underway that is boxing 101 a nice crisp combination by Johnson Blocked by Mike Tyson. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Look at that. How much more can Tyson take? Not the first time this has happened tonight. Trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Unable to make an impact there by Mike Tyson. placed hook to the head that's a nice right hand that time by Johnson he's getting hit a ton now he needs to add some defense to his game Tyson's hurt from that and there's a clinch after clearly being damaged oh that's gotta hurt can he beat the count I don't think so here Tay. now I know where they got that saying Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's all over. Johnson's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner. Sometimes that's all it takes, Teddy. Just one good shot can end the evening. You just wonder how hard he tried to actually get back up. But I'm not in his body. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time. Hi, everybody. So <laughs> Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Nice block by Johnson. Mike Tyson's advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. He better understand that. Johnson's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Putting him in position against the ropes. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Johnson. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Tyson's able to avoid that punch.
Good block there by Mike Tyson. Johnson's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Johnson. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date. He wants to get to it. He missed that uppercut. Mike Tyson's hit by a right hand. Okay, get your hands up. Johnson's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. You're good. All right? You're okay, right? Breathe with me. Now listen, you threw a white punch in the court. You tighten up the punches, right? Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Solid left hand to the head. Johnson's crushed by a huge uppercut. Oh, what an exchange. Johnson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Solid jab by Johnson. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Halfway through this round. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Tyson's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Turns over that hook upstairs. Tyson's making this so it's almost like a do-or-die attitude. He's going for broke after being stunned himself. Well, he feels like his back's up against the wall. He's got nothing to lose. Well played, straight right hand. Let it go. Scored well with the left downstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. Johnson's going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing, and that is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed yeah he's throwing educated punches you know he's not wasting anything he's making everything count but just as importantly everything's leading to something else you know he's working the body one moment and that's leading up to some head attack later on so he's planning everything out like a smart fighter a guy that understands the sweet science over that hook and he does damage upstairs that was a nice hook that landed that time by Mike Tyson he digs in with a left hand to the body you see him holding on a nice clean jab by Mike Tyson Johnson's banged around by a big uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Johnson's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Solid hook. That's an impactful right hand by Mike Tyson. One hook. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Come on! He 
able to land the jab. Johnson's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. And we come to the end of the round. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? You go. Then let's get moving at it. Start of round number four. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Nice! Nice! Tyson's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Let's see some more head movement. Johnson's got to deal with a cut cheek. Mike Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. A clean, crisp right hand by Johnson. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. Look at that combination by Mike Tyson. Headshot lands was a hook. Good block by Mike Tyson. Johnson's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Left to the body. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. And that's the end of round four. Johnson's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut work. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. Tyson's dazed after that punch. Good defensive skill. Tyson's hugging at this. Huge right hand comes crashing home. And he clinches yet again. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out from here. Johnson's cut is now changing the course of this fight. Well, the fighter's been trying to do his job. Now the corner man is the most important person right now in that ring. He has to do his job and stop that bleeding. Yeah. 90 seconds to go here in this round. That's what I want to see. Blocks that belt line well. Johnson's plan may be to have more urgency at this point because that cut of his just has blood streaming all over him. Well, there's three sides that can be affected. He can be affected himself by seeing his own blood. His opponent can get affected, get a little over anxious. And the judges, they could be affected a little bit by seeing that kind of blood. Well-scored left hand by Johnson. Tyson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. 
really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand. Johnson's able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Keep moving side to side, right? Start of a new round, and you got to expect his opponent to jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. <laughs> nice work on the right hand by Mike Tyson. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He missed with that headshot. Keep your head moving. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Tyson's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. Johnson's trying to get his man off of him. You see him shoving and pushing. Doing well on the outside. Halfway through round six. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That is a strong uppercut there. Back and forth exchange. That right hand over the top lands flush. Now hugging on the inside. Mike Tyson's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Downstairs with a right hand. Johnson's got a bloody nose right. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And bang and away he goes. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Keep your hands up, strike. You're happy. Keep your hands up. You guys, nice. Keep it up. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Tyson's in bad shape. And just like that, he's able to turn. Oh, and there you go. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Tyson's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, and now the real tap. Can he get up after going down a second time? Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. At the halfway point of round seven, Tyson's jammed by an uppercut. Well, the quick read on this guy, if you watch this fight so far, is that he just doesn't jab enough. And that's the most basic thing in the world. You need that punch to make everything else happen. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Mike Tyson. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, keep focused. Relax, relax. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Keep 
right there, Mike Tyson was able to score well with the hook. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And that's the end of round seven. I need you to focus and keep your hands up and keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around and Start of round number eight. It's been an interesting one so far. He finds himself down even though he has scored a knockdown. Yeah, and he deserves to be, Joe. After that knockdown, he went to sleep. He just stopped working. Johnson's hit by a counter punch there. Johnson's is being smart on the outside. Teddy, this guy's putting on a clinic right now. I mean, his, his accuracy is remarkable. Yeah, clinic in the healthcare center. He's like a surgeon. Cut. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Brings the hook that time. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Unload! Unload! Oh! Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Tyson's down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. It's over. This fight is over. Johnson's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible. Good evening. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it round one underway <laughs> able to cover up that gut Johnson's gotta be feeling the impact of that uppercut <laughs> scored well with that right hand to the body what a damaging blow nice hook upstairs Teddy, can the shorter fighter in a matchup like this be effective with a power punch, or does he have to reach up too much? Joe, not only can a shorter fighter in this kind of situation be effective, he will be effective if he comes out of a weave with a punch, because now, usually the taller guy, he's punching down. And when you punch... Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Johnson's defense has failed him now. Oh, man, shot after shot coming in. Tyson's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Crashes home with the uppercut. And he returns on that exchange. Mike Tyson's left now getting into the mix. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body puncher, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Final 10 seconds of round number one. A target on his head, and he places a hook right on it. And now he's targeting upstairs. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. <laughs> 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 
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good return fire that time. How about that angle by Johnson? That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains coming at you. You don't go back on the track because it's going to hit you. You go off the track on the side. Exactly what he did. And that train went right past him. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Halfway through round number two. Hits him in the mug with the right. Johnson's left is working well that time. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Johnson still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Rashes home with a hook. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. End of the round. And that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything, you know. He wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you can just outwork him a little. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Johnson's banged by a right hand. Now lay it on. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. Comes with the straight right hand. Halfway through this round here. Mike Tyson's getting back to basics. A good solid jab. How about that left hand? A well-targeted jab that time. Big uppercut right on the mark. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Johnson's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Tyson's rocked by a hook to the body. Right hand downstairs. Solid right by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's well off the mark that time. Nice, relax. Good, good. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting the jab to his chest. His hands will drop and follow with the power shot. Gotta keep this guy off balance. Nice, relaxed. Ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Johnson. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body very important because what it does is stops the ability of your opponent to defend the headshots takes away some of that head movement little head knocking with that right hand 
A precise hook by Tyson he showed us. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was 